We've made the pellets with the glass bubbles in the extrusion process. So now we're gonna put these in the injection molder and make some plaques to measure weight differences between some material that has talc as an additive and the glass bubbles. We've already injection molded the talc containing sample. We're gonna do the uh, glass bubble containing sample right now. So we're injection molding these two by three inch plaques that are a quarter inch wide and we're gonna look at the uh, weight difference on a scale here between these two plaques. The injection molding process can handle the use of glass bubbles because 3M has developed a new, very high strength glass bubble material. We have a bubble that exceeds 30,000 PSI in compressive strength. So we can put that into a plastic composite, put it into a high shear process like injection molding, and have it survive this process and provide light weighting in the final part. There are some tricks to getting the glass bubbles to work in this process. Sometimes the glass bubbles will change the viscosity of the resin and you may have to do some changing of your parameters, your cycle uh, conditions. You might have to increase your injection speed. You might have to uh, increase the temperature of your mold. But all in all, we should be able to get an optimized formulation with bubbles that'll give you a decent amount of light weighting, but that can be injection molded very efficiently.